the Murano study was a study in relapse refractory CLL patients that looked at venetoclax and rituximab versus bendamustine and rituximab. Um, and initially, obviously, this was a follow-up to a phase one study that looked at the combination initially of venetoclax and rituximab in relapse patients to assess its safety and tolerability. Once that was assessed, of course, it went on comparing to a chemo immunotherapy arm, namely bendamustine and rituximab, because this is a frequently used combination chemo immunotherapy that gets used uh, in the United States and elsewhere for patients with relapse disease. This meeting, this, this data was actually presented last year initially, uh, but what everybody was looking was for the follow-up data for long term. So this was the three-year follow-up of the initial presentation because this, ther this trial looked at um, having venetoclax stopped. So it's one of the first trials looking at sort of a fixed duration therapy of venetoclax, um, which many of us are looking at how can we limit some of these oral therapies that we're using for patients because some of these newer novel therapies that are being tested in CLL, such as abrutinib, when these drugs first got approved, we've been continuing them indefinitely for patients with CLL. So how can we look at um, not only having great efficacy for the treatment of this disease, but then limiting the therapy. This may save on cost, and there may be subsets of patients with CLL where this is very doable.